Hey everyone, we're back with another 2016 box break for baseball. This time we have the base Donruss 2016 sets. This is the hobby box. It includes 24 packs uh, with eight cards per pack. There is a guaranteed three autographs or memorabilia cards per box, but sometimes there are more included. Uh, they have inserts such as the 1982 insert set. They have variations. Very easy to find this time. No trickery with the colors or anything. The variations will be uh, name, where it says the team name on the bottom. They say things like Rainmaker, MVP. So uh, very cool. So what we're going to go ahead and uh, rip this bad boy open. Uh, this was a group box. So we have to say a few names real quick. Uh, who has what? So let's run it down real quick. Angels, Billy uh, Jack Smith. The Astros, Retro Mickey. Athletics, Stephen Jay. Blue Jays, Rob Henry. Cardinals, Retro Mickey. Cubs, John Snyder. Dodgers, Ryan Markle. Mariners, John Snyder. Uh, the Marlins, Stephen Jay. Mets, John Snyder. Nationals, Billy Jack Smith. Orioles, John Snyder. Michael, uh, Philly, Phillies have Michael 115150. The Pirates have Johnny R. Sports. Rangers, John Snyder. Lucas has the Red Sox. I have the Indians. The Reds are uh, Marty Brin. The Twins are Johnny R. Sports, and the Yankees are Rob Henry. So, let's get this bad boy going, shall we? So, 24 packs per box. How many packs is that a piece? Wait, wait what? How many packs do we get in a piece? Get... 12. That's right. Glad you're kind of paying attention over here. Lucas had his tryouts today. Uh, if you're interested in watching that footage... You can, uh, after the credits for the video, we'll put that up. Just a little bit, maybe about 20 seconds, if that. David Ortiz on the cover. A little hometown whoa, 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 action. Whoa, whoa. <clears throat> so there's yours. There's give me, mine. Give me all my packs. There's yours. And there's mine. I need to watch out for this. I'm going to move this up. Actually, right. I'll put this right up there, and then move this in. So, here. let's show off uh, show off the base card real what quick. What will be the first two cards that we open? Will it be Red Sox? Will it be Cubs? All right, the first one up here is Joey Votto from the Cincinnati. Now, they can't use the uh, team names, so it's Cincinnati. It doesn't say the Reds. They blur out the logos and everything else. Yep. You see on the bottom where it says first base Cincinnati? That's where they have the variations for what they say. So, Dad. What? Oh, First nice. First card. Lucas is excited about his Red Sox. Uh, First card. Buying here. I mean, this looks a lot like last year to me. You can see the backs. Dad. They, very reminiscent. So we got the old fakeru stiff card. So if you buy them in the... Oh, Dad, look at this one. The hobby box. Oh, okay. That's, so that's the retro box. Oh. What? Oh, I thought that was something. My bad. I thought that was like a printing. Uh, they have a thing that has hologram names across the oh. top. So I got the first, the prospects. I got Blake Sneal for the Tampa Bay Rays. Dad, I got something different. That's what it looks like. Dad. And then I also got the retro. This is the 19, uh, I believe it's 1992. I got a variant. Okay, 1992. Uh, Wait, what's different about that one? Oh, yeah. uh, base. You can see with the bat and the ball. Prospects. And this is the great Steve Carlton. Uh, they actually have him without his hat, which is a nice way to get around the licensing issues. Oh. So that we're going to put that in its own pile. And then the prospects in its own pile. So what do you got? You got to start off with the Red Sox. Little Bogarts. Paul. And you want that in your own pile? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> and then I got uh, Chris Bryant. Chris Bryant. <laughs> nice young player for the Cubs. Evan Longoria, Kirby Puckett, retro player there, good old, great, great hitter, my mom's favorite player, actually. Uh, Justin Upton. Dad, this one's a variant, because see Roy. You got it. it so this is the, mm. this is the Chris Bryant. How common are those uh, variants? D didn't you just get a Chris Bryant? Yep. All right. Oh. So. You see the base one, this is a good example. That's the base Chris Bryant. This is the Chris Bryant, and underneath it says Rookie of the Year. Or Roy. Roy. And then the backs actually are alternated, even though they're both 60. Can I see? What? 
they have them flipped. But they're both numbered 60. So that's another way you can tell the variance if you're blind enough to see the uh, Rookie of the Year symbol wow. on top. They're backwards. So that's cool. That's a and nice little back, pull for John Snyder. Diamond? Oh! Are they rare? Nope, but it's still cool. It's a nice insert. Diamond Kings is the box we're going to be breaking at the end of the month. Uh, $7 a team, $6 if you buy more than one. Uh, that includes shipping in a padded envelope. Why did they make it Diamond Kings if it's not the Diamond Kings? Well, because that's an insert. It originally was an insert in Donruss packs, but uh, I'm going to make its own pile over here. And then you got the retro one. This is uh, for Tampa Bay. I Tampa Bay I already got some cards in this, cards in this one. Dad. I hope so because he's on the box. So yeah. if who, they who doesn't put a David Ortiz? Hey, we could actually pull a David box. Ortiz autograph. I think wouldn't that be something? Yeah, that would be like the best pull of my life. So these are your standard Donruss cards so far. Um, I mean, they don't uh, do a lot of great action Dad? shots because they're harder to blur out. Yes, sir. I think Xander Bogarts is one of the easiest people to pull on the Red Sox. Oh, yeah? Why? Another Red Sox. Oh, you got the retro one. So this is actually, I was just saying, there's not a lot of great action shots. Look at that one. <laughs> I mean, that, that is the perfect Donruss picture because it lets you get away from all the logos and stuff. That's, oh, that is awesome. See how they have to blur out the logos because they don't have the license? That lets them do it. They're very cool. So, man, you got lucky. Oh, I got a little holographic one here. I got Prince Fielder in Texas. Oh, Look I thought, at that. I thought that was a Pablo or something. I was yeah. like, oh, yeah. The sparkly. And this is the back of the card for you. So that's going to go in its own little pile. We got a lot of little oh, piles yeah. getting formed oh, up here. And then I got a rated rookie. Rated. Which is part of the base set. Rated R for rookie. <laughs> and look at this. I got the uh, the man himself. Oh, cool. The hit king, Pete Rose, wow. in a pack of cards. How exciting because they don't have to the bend down for, uh, oh, okay. for Major League Baseball. They have the greatest hitter of all time in their set, unlike Topps. What else did you get? No variants. Dad, how uh, hard are they to pull variants? I have no clue. They have. They didn't put out any statistics or anything, as far as I know. <coughs> Wonderful. Oh God. John Lester for the Cubs. A lot of Cubs so far. This place is so small. It is small. And then for the rated rookie for this pack, we got the. Uh, the Brewers. Very nice, very nice. So that's uh, the prospects. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh my God, that is small. I can't read that. Woo! Check out this print on the. That is uh, that is tiny. Okay. Absolutely tiny. I'm never looking at that again. My eyes. Uh, Pete Rose. Oh, that's a good question. He's listed as being on. Uh. Oh boy, um, just a career card. They don't list a city. Oh, Philadelphia is actually, they list them as uh, being on the Phillies, not the Reds. What, uh, who has the Phillies? Who has the Phillies? Uh, Michael115150. Is Michael on? You just got a Pete Rose card. Yeah. Yeah, it's great to see Pete Rose back in sets. That's awesome. Why? Why? Because he's the greatest hit hitter of all time. How all time know? leader. Because numbers, man, statistics don't lie. Whoa! <clears throat> Who's got Miami? Just asking. Who's got Miami? Oh, I got a Diamond Kings. This actually looks like a colored variant. Um. Miami? Yeah. That goes just, in the Diamond just, Kings. Just wondering. Um, Marlins is uh, Stephen J. Oh, I got a uh, collegiate team. Team USA Baseball. And he has the Miami team? Miami yes. Marlins? And then I also got Who? one of the great players of all time, George Who is Brett. Again? Stephen Jay, buddy. Is Stephen Jay on? Yes, he is on. Let me put some of these cards down. He's just, just keep asking. Just, just wondering. Just wondering. Just, just um, wondering. All right. Oh! Oh, nice pull. Mookie Betts, one of the great young oh, wait, players for the Boston Betts? Red Sox. Oh, God, I didn't even <clears throat> awesome. know this. 
poop, but I didn't even notice. <laughs> How did I not know? Oh, another Boston player. Man, this set is heavy with the Boston players. How did I miss this? <laughs> okay, put all the base ones here. Oh, what's that? The Dominator? So, yeah. So, Miami got the Elite Dominator Ichiro card. Serially numbered 957 out of 999. The Dominator. And you can see the serial number right down there. I don't know how hard, well it's going to do with all the reflection. But that is Mr. Ichiro. So, let's put that right into an old Ichiro. sleeve. Ichiro. There we are. Who got Ichiro, Stephen J. Uh, New York is Rob Henry. Well, right. you got someone. And that's uh, the rated rookie. So that goes. What happened to my rated rookie pile? What? <clears throat> is this it? <laughs> All right. I seem to have lost a pile. There you go. Oh, so that's no. the retro card. Oh no. <clears throat> oh no. Oh no. All right. All right. Jeez. Yep, if you want to buy the museum break, uh, email me. I'll let you know how to go about that. Dad? What? Oh, my God. Well. <laughs> oh, uh, All right, we have a career insert. I'm putting a, <clears throat> making a Xander Bogart for, pile. For Tampa Bay Rays. This is serially numbered 416 yes. out of 432, and you can see he has his career average in foil right across the top, and the numbering is hard to see, but it is there. So that is another insert. I have Power Alley for Jose Batista, and the backs on these are incredibly yeah, boring. Yeah, I got for you. Power Alley is another insert. Yeah. Hold on. And then Cal Ripken, kind of an interesting decision to pose him like that. That's Look the best. What I got for you. Oh, Corey Kluber for uh, America's team, Cleveland Indians. Put that right in there. Let me put this in a sleeve as well. Oh, I'm so happy. Are you so happy because you got a good Indians card? No. No. Oh. The other way around. Oh, boo. Red Slugs. And uh, wonder why I'm in Oh, Xander. Francisco Lindor. Uh, Very nice going in my Indians pile. Want to uh, know right now why I'm in a Xander Bogarts pile? Why? Oh! I did. Dad, I noticed that. I didn't notice that, but look what I did notice. Cool, you got a great pack there. So, we have for Chicago, Dad, look what Addison we Russell. And this is uh, an unnumbered relic memorabilia card. Miles? No, it's for Chicago. Oh, Chicago. Addison Russell. I'm not sure if Cubs are. Uh, White Sox. Looks Cubsy, but I'd have to check. Uh, I'll look that up. But hey, Retro Mickey, you just got a hit. Oh yeah. No, no. So there you go. One more time. All right. What else did you get in that pack? Andrew McCutcheon. That's a nice action shot. These retro 1982 cards. Uh, Looking sharp. And what's, what else did you get? This. But Ooh. look what it's surely numbered of on the top. 227 out of 281. Uh, 281 career batting average for Zang Xander Bogart's Diamond King. And that's Very why nice. I made a Xander Bogart's pile. Very cool. So, so far we've gotten the base Diamond Kings, <laughs> the pink variant Diamond Kings, and then the foil Diamond You want this in a sleeve? Yeah. Yeah. What about that big, thick card? We're not going to put that one in a sleeve? I did. Oh. It's in a sleeve. Don't worry about it. I got the sleeves this Daddy time. I'm prepared. Bogart. So Lucas pulls the first hit, and it is a relic. And I also pulled a... Cubs with John game. Snyder. Welcome back, Sports Card Mania. Glad to have you back. Joining us yet again. He won the uh, sale relic last night for watching us live on the tubes that are ubes. This man, this reminds me a lot of last year's set. Why? I just, got a checklist card. Just the way they put. <laughs> this a checklist card? Yeah. Well, actually, I got another hit. 
You <laughs> what? This is the retro card. How many hits are in this thing? All right. There's, 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 a, there's a minimum of three hits. So we've got two of them already. Yeah. But there could be more because they sometimes they average more. Uh, let's see who got this one. Uh, what team is it for? Rob Henry. You got Josh Donaldson. Unnumbered relic card. So two artists got it. Rob Henry and Retro Mickey. All right. So we You're got a minimum of one more in play. Hopefully, I'd like an autograph. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we'll see, though. Oh, Dad, have we been looking for the variants? Oh, you know what? I haven't been looking for the variants. Oh, no. Well, let me skim real quick. Look through. See if any of these are That's different. That's horrible. I know. We're it's... slacking on that. Uh... Man, do we only get one variant? Yeah. Oh, Where there's my other it? rated rookie. Where is it? What, the Cubs variant? Right here. Keep it. Okay. So that's that. No other variants. Okay. So what'd you get? Oh. Oh, wait. I'm going for the back. <laughs> going backwards. I like it. That's the uh, oh, okay. retro one. Power Alley. Madison Bumgardner. And look, they're both almost in the same exact position. Very yet. nice for the Giants. Yep. Power Alley, man. The most exciting card in baseball today, the checklist card. Let's see if there's any Red Sox. <laughs> so, that's going in the trash. I don't think anyone wants a checklist. Uh, Kansas City. Oh, George Brett. Man, he's in the regular one, too. Awesome. Great player. Great player. Great guy. Yeah, the Houston Astros. There you go. The New York Mets. Mets? I almost said Yankees. Boom. Well, I was going back and forth. I was like, eh, nah, nah, nah. Mankies. <laughs> All right. It's so, the Mankies. So far, we had a hit of Josh Donaldson uh, for the Blue Jays and Addison Russell for the Cubs. <clears throat> hey, Dad. Yes, son. Uh, want to know what I called? Nope. First card? What? Big like Trout. Nice. And then... What number is he? He is number... Oh! 83. How exciting. Carl Yastrzemski. Who's that? The great, one of the greatest Red Sox players of all time. My grandmother's favorite player and a great Polak. When we go to the Mansfield Card Show, and we will be at the Mansfield Card Show tomorrow. Uh, what's tomorrow? March 6th. I will be there in the morning. There's always boxes of Carl Yastrzemski oh, memorabilia. So you got a base Diamond King. And it's all expensive because he was a great player. Uh, Sonny Gray. Nice card uh, going to Stephen Jay. Uh, that's of him signing autographs, which is a very, very cool card. Dad? Yes, son. He's definitely a Pollock. <laughs> there you go. It actually says Pollock. He's a Pollock. <laughs> Hello, everyone in the chat room. Sorry, we're not keeping up with you. Uh, trying to get Hello. through this. That's a retro card. Hope everything's being civil in there. Where my cards go? Mm. There you go. Mm. Let's see. I'll show those off while you're tip tapping around. One of the great hitters of all time. I there. think that I had the. I got them out all out of your sight, Dad. Oh, Lucas, don't do that. <laughs> okay. God. You got a Team USA? Another one signing autographs, telling you. Of course, none of them are teams that I have, unfortunately. And then we got card number 83, Mike Trout. Very nice. Outfield for Los Angeles. So I'm going to take a quick moment and uh, throw out a few shout outs. Uh, Ethan Gerhardt, Billy Jack Smith, Mike Mike May two one one eight, Dylan Grasso, Kyle Camille, Colson Graf thirty seven, Bruins collector Robert Ducky, and Mike Cartina. What he said. Uh, all requested some shout outs before we went live on the air. They're live in the chat room joining us for this Don Russ Woo! group break. Yeah. Woo! There you go, another Madison Bumgarner. Uh, Dad. Yeah. Oh! Doug, for your collection. 
Uh, it's not for my collection because I gotta give it away. But that's another cool card. I know, and especially because he's a really, really good player. I got Manny Machado, foil Manny card unnumbered for the Orioles. And that was one of the Elite Series. I got another Diamond King for the Braves. And then the old school Donner style. Okay. So you got yeah, you got Mike Trout. This is the uh, 1982 variant. It would have been in your collection. Very cool. <laughs> Signing autographs. Awesome. I know. I missed that card already. Stop. Uh, there you yeah. go. Crush my pinky. Yeah, Andrew McCutcheon. Ooh. No more variants after that uh, Chris Bryant one. And then for the Cleveland Indians, <laughs> Diamond Kings, Michael Brantley. Very cool. Very cool. So we still have it, Ooh, a minimum of one more hit to go to. Hopefully hey, it's the autograph. Oh. So who's that? Brandon Crawford for the San Francisco Giants. We got a uh, variant. Zero number numbered. 173 out of 199. Well, and you can tell a variant. <laughs> it's a black a border number. there. It's a serial number. Number. Very cool. Yes. It's a uh, blackboarded numbered insert. Very cool. So we'll put that in over there. Hold on for a second. Let me do my pack. Uh, hold on for a second, will you? <laughs> like, David Price, still listed as Toronto. It's like we're, we're, I don't know. Museum. He's on the Boston Red Sox. Oh, really? Yeah, they just signed him in the offseason. Oh, I didn't know that. Didn't know that. I bet he was pricey, pricey. <laughs> I mean, it is his last name. All right, you got a nice little the rookies card here, Henry Owens, who we actually met at Boston last year, got his autograph. Wait, Henry Owens. Henry Owens, he's the tall guy. Henry Owens. Yep, for the Boston Red Sox. Oh yeah, I remember I got that fake autograph of him. Oh, that's right. That was one of our first uh, things we ever bought at a card show. He looks way different. And his neck looks like all discombobulated. So look at his neck in that photo. I got a foil card, serially numbered. This is the average ERA for uh, the Cardinals, and it's number 288 out of 338. And yeah, if you can see the numbers photo. right there. It looks so discombobulated. Discombobulated. Nice like, word. Discombobulated. Let me get that out. Oh. Put that right in there. Oh, wait. <clears throat> Are there any more so we The rookies? Oh, whatever. Dad. The prospects, yep. I got the last relic. You got the last relic? Well, there could be more. Nope, never mind. Ah, you lied. Yeah. How are you doing on packs? Three left, and I got four left, so I got to rip one open. <clears throat> Dad? Yeah? I think I got a card that you might find interesting. Well, you have my attention. Let me just go through these cards. You're not going to get it. So uh, these nice guys can see it. What's the San, uh, San Diego? The Padres? San Diego Padres are nobody. Good. So you'll get to keep it. Oh, good. I'm excited about that. I think it, you'll find it interesting. Johnny Kutu? Here, I'll give you a hint. Another Henry Owens. We can't get it in normal boxes. Okay. Normally, Thomas. we get it in opening day. Where's my rated rookie pile? There it is. Yeah. And then, this is a nice Ricky Henderson with the, uh, holding the bases. And so, that you can, normally, you only find what I found in opening day boxes. Okay. What, only, what is it, a mascot? Yeah. You will have to find out. It could be the Gatorade dump. It could be the celebrations. It could be a mascot. You don't know. I don't know. I may never know. Yeah, for all you know, you may never know. Rated rookie? Well, and actually. That's a nice card um, right there. A nice action shot. He's a chicken. So this is the famous San Diego chicken card number 151. 
part of the base that he even got his own little card. <laughs> that was unexpected. So let me go through. Let me see if there's any more variants for the naming. Boy, when you open up one in the first pack, that's by Cleveland Indians, you think they're going to be pretty common. Then you don't get any more. And we got one of the hottest players in the game, which Who? is fantastic, Chris Bryant. Wow. He was a rookie last year. It's phenomenal. Phenomenal. <clears throat> Gonna have a long career. Bruins collector. Uh, I thought Whoa! I'd give you a shout out. That's interesting. I like interesting. Interesting <laughs> is fun. Uh, just so you know, we're gonna get two Donruss 16s. Okay. So overall, I mean, this is your standard Donruss set, hitting, pitching, very few action shots of sliding or making great fielding. I got a 16 foil card for the Cincinnati Reds. This is number 62 out of 299, and this is like a camouflage uh, variant right there. Look at that bad boy, huh? And where's the number? It's right underneath my thumb, if you can see it, right by the baseball. Doesn't show up that well on camera, unfortunately. But uh, this foil, serially numbered, going to the Reds. That's going to go right over there. Then I got a pink border variant. Okay, Ethan then, uh, Garrett Hart. Garrett Hart, do you get a shout out? Shout Thanks out. for watching. Yeah, rubber dunk. Rubber, rubber, rubber duck. So, since shoot, shoot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, we got one more that hit. Yep, they Missing it right now. So, let's, let's see what we're going to have with that. Come on now. How many packs do you got left? I got two packs left. So, we're getting close. We got a Stan Howard USA College team card. Uh, that goes there. You got a Lorenzo Kane numbered 191 out of 199. Oh, I didn't see that was serially numbered. Look at that. And the serially numbered is right there, right oh. above my finger. And then a D. Gordon Miami <gasps> retro card. Dad. What? Uh, you know how you asked for an autograph? Yep. You got it? Yeah. Alright, well let's show off the other cards first. So stand by, we have autograph sightings going on right now for the Donruss cards. It's a Bigfoot sighting! No, it's a big autograph sighting! Oh Make sure there's no variants in the names here. Nope, we're good to go. No variant. <coughs> no variant. No the variant. Ooh. Pedro Martinez. Great Red Sox player. Awesome. St. Louis. And our autograph is for the Chicago. What's their face? George Solar System. George Solar. <laughs> this is a serially numbered autograph number 98 out of 99. Man. There you go. Who had that team? What team is that? There you go. Team what? Uh, what's your face? <laughs> Looks like the Cubs, I'd have to say. Chicago. What's Chicago's team? Well, there's two teams in Chicago, the White Sox and the Cubbies, but I think that looks like a Cubby. Yeah, jersey. that's definitely a Cubs. Who got the Cubs? I hope so, because nobody bought the White Sox. So I'm hoping, John Snyder? So I'm hoping that's going to go to someone. John Snyder, you just got it. Yep, clubs are cleaning up. All right. So that's the third hit there. So let me open up my set, third to last pack. See if we can get one of those four insert boxes. Okay, Viking 55, 55, you get a shouty out, out, out. Shouty out, out, out. I'm not a big fan of these uh, checklists, to be honest with you, because there's nothing on them. Checklist. At least the... Uh, the heritage made it kind of exciting. Ooh, Masters of the Game. I haven't seen one of those yet. Um, but, you know, they have the teams on the front, different celebrations and stuff. But uh, not too exciting with these. Is that in your last pack? Yeah. Jeez. No, this is my last pack. Hey, it worked. <laughs> 
Oh, you got a Masters of the Game as well. Steve Carlton, great, great pitcher. And you know how you hated how the Cubs got a lot of action? Well, you're going to hate it because we got the Chris Bryant third card Look. here. This is the Retro 1982. Dad, look what I pulled. I pulled the famous Lucas's iPod, guys. One of one. Big hit. So last pack. Let's see what we got here. You got Mr. Baseball himself, David Ortiz. Oh, yes. You know, I haven't gotten my Kipnis again this game. This is two boxes in a row. I didn't get any Kipnis. What's going uh, on with this? That it's even um, uh, counted as 2016. Now go purpose. Per, uh, blah, 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 blah. Per, perfect in my collection of David Ortiz. Classes. Another college team. Not too fond of those, to be honest with you. And then we got the last card, Jason Hayworth. So we did not get uh, Jason Kipnis again. So I'm starting to get a little disappointed with these uh, baseball manufacturers. Um, uh, John Snyder. Oh, hey, John. Uh, congratulations on all your uh, on your hits. Um, he wants to know how come Lucas always seems to open the hits. And, yeah, why don't you tell us that? Uh... Oh, that was my fault. There we go. Um... Oh, my God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, oh. Oh, my God. Um, Billy Jack Smith wants to know if we ever went to uh, Fort Myers in Florida for spring training. We have not, unfortunately. Uh, if we go to Florida, we try to go to Disney or something. So, um, yeah, it's uh, horrible. So, to recap, uh, we got a bunch of serially numbered cards, like, such as Xander Bogarts. Yes. Uh, show these off real quick, and then we'll show the hits, and we'll call this one a box break. Donruss every year, uh, I mean, you get a lot of hits in their boxes. They do a lot of serially numbered, you know, the memorabilia, the autographs and stuff. But uh, not a huge fan of the pictures that they choose, to be perfectly honest with you. So let's recap the three hits. We got, well, let's throw that one last. We got, for the Cubbies, we got, oh wait, for the Toronto Blue Jays, Donaldson. For the Cubs, Russell. And then, for the Cubs, again, Solar. And then we also got some other serially numbered foil cards. Uh, I mean, they make a lot of them, but they're pretty cool. Um, the coolest part I found was the retro cards from 1982. Yeah, those are always cool. Cool. And uh, it's cool. I mean, it's Donruss. It's a cheap break. It's fun. Um, that's cool. I hope uh, hope you guys had fun watching this break. If you're live in the, uh, the chat room, thank you very much. Uh, it's always fun. Yeah. Uh, we'll be around after this, uh, so hang out with us. But uh, for everyone who's watching after the fact, thank you very much for watching this box break. Uh, right around 35 minute mark. Not bad. Um, it's Donruss, man. You know what you're getting. You don't get the logos and stuff. They're very limited in the photos they can use because they have to airbrush everything out. But, I mean, and they, the prices drop quickly on these. So uh, after a few months, you get them a lot cheaper, 40, 50 bucks a piece. Um, it is what it is. Uh, but, I mean, it's a fun break. We got, get to send out some nice cards to the people who join us in the group uh, break. If you want to join us in the future, email me at the email address at the end of the video, and we will put you on our mailing list. We have Topps Museum coming up at the end of the month, $22 for three random teams. Super high end, 20 total cards, but uh, some cards go for big money. Yeah, so look what number this is. That's pretty cool. Is. Yeah. Number and uh, then we also have Diamond, Diamond Kings, the full set, which last year we pulled a one out of five, I believe. Uh, that was very cool. I also want to let you know if you email sparkedbreaks at gmail.com, that's S P A R K E D B R E A K S at gmail.com, he's opening it up. Two boxes, uh, 1994 Fleer Series 2 and 2003 Upper Deck. Uh, prospects premiere uh, and he's opening up for teams so if anyone wants in on that please do uh, otherwise I think our work here is done thank you everyone for joining us um, one last question from the chat room sports cards mania wants to know my favorite sports cards brand it is T-O-O-P-S tops I, I live and breathe tops specifically uh, I used to like the archives but 
The different styles in the same set confuses me. I like the tops of main set. Yeah, the base set. I like yeah. opening day because I think a lot of the inserts are fun. And it's, it's everyone always complains about the price of cards being expensive and hit driven. Opening day is a buck a pack, and there's a lot of fun cards, and it's a great way to introduce people to the hobby. Um, you know, perfect. You buy a box, a hobby box of that, throw them in with your Halloween treats at the end of the year, get kids involved in uh, cards. I think it'd do a lot of good for everyone. So uh, we'll that. be back again uh, tomorrow. One last time, we have uh, on the 6th of March, we'll be at the Mansfield Card Show. Go to CardboardPromotions.com. And uh, they have, I think, four hockey players signing tomorrow along with a boxer. Um, but it's always a good time. If you see us, please say hi. We always like to get a picture taken with the people who uh, watch us on YouTube. Yeah. Uh, we, we have a whole bunch of pictures, and it's a good time. Make sure... Don't be embarrassed to come up to us. We love when people come up to us. So if you're shy and you don't want to walk up, up to us, we don't know. So it's either get a part of knowing us or just don't say anything. That is true. Uh, so that will take us through March, those box breaks. Afterwards, we're going to do Alan Ginter. We're going to do Archives. What else are we going to do? Uh-huh. Gypsy Queen. Uh it's going to be a lot of time, so please join us with the box breaks. I'm going to work uh, tomorrow after the card show, getting all these out quickly. I got a nice routine down, so uh, very cool. So we're going to let it go at that, and after the credits, we will show you a little bit of Lucas trying out today uh, for Little League or Cal Ripken Baseball, whatever they call it these days. Minor League. The Minor League. So uh, stay around for that if you're so inclined. Bad. Otherwise, <clears throat> we're out. So... Thank you very much for watching. If you like what you saw, subscribe below. Uh, leave comments, feedback, suggestions, trade requests, anything else you can think of. <clears throat> As always, I am Matt. And I'm Lucas. And we will see you guys again real soon with our Mansfield Card Show recap video. But until then, take it easy and keep ripping those packs. Bye.